Hello, my name is Alina Sentenai and I'm the JCSAT-17 Program Director for Ariane Space. I would like to welcome you to the Guyana Space Center in Kourou for the third launch of Ariane Space in 2020. Ariane 5 Flight VA-252 will place two satellites into the geostationary transfer orbit and it will carry a total payload of more than 10 tons. JCSAT is positioned on top of the double launch structure named SILDA and below the fairing. JCSAT-17 has arrived in French Guiana on the 16th of January. It has undergone different checkouts prior to the satellite fillings and its integration on the launcher. JCSAT-17 will be the 21st SkyPerfect JSAT satellite to be launched by Ariane Space. SkyPerfect JSAT Corporation is a leader in the converging fields of broadcasting and communications. Since the launch of JCSAT-1 in 1989, Sky Perfect, JSAT Sub Corporation and Ariane Space have developed a strong relationship of mutual trust. Now I would like to introduce Mr. Fujita, the JCSAT 17 Program Manager. Hi Alina. Fujita-san, could you introduce JCSAT 17? Yes, JCSAT 17 is a communication satellite that provides mobile communications over Japan and the surrounding region by using S-band and C-band transponders. It also provides communications by KU band. GCSA 17 has very flexible capabilities through the use of a digital channelizer and beamformer in order to meet various demands of the end user. Can you tell us more about the GCSA 17 program? Since the program kickoff, Lockheed Martin and GSA have been working so hard with a very good relationship toward the delivery of the launch site. Additionally, the launch campaign has been very smooth thanks collaboration between Ariane Space and Lockheed Martin. And I am so pleased and very excited that we are here today. After separation, your team has different milestones before putting JCSAT-17 in service. Can you tell us what are the next steps? Once the spacecraft is separated from the launch vehicle, we will begin maneuvers to get the spacecraft to the geostationary orbit, which will take a week or so. Next, the solar array and a very large 18-meter reflector will be deployed. Those deployment operations will be exciting events for sure. Then we will proceed with inorbit testing in order to confirm the satellite functionalities of the launch environment. Now I'd like to thank all parties involved in this program for their contributions over the years. Especially, I would like to thank Lockheed Martin for developing this high quality satellite. And I would like to thank Ariane Space for their continued and dedicated support to JSAT. Thank you very much for your nice words. I wish all the best to JCSAT-17 and the teams involved in the launch.